how are you guys doing? I miss you guys so much. Last time I was in Cebu, I was blown away by all your talent. And thank you so much. That Lemis was incredible. Oh, I'm following everyone on Facebook and I'm watching everyone singing and dancing at home. And this is very, very important. It's very important for us and very important for the world because this is what we can do is bring the music and joy to this crazy time and support each other through music and dance. Uh, keep up the good work, okay? And thank you again for inviting me to this wonderful masterclass. We talk, we're going to talk about um, how to prepare a professional audition, okay? Uh, that's a few steps. Make it fun and make it not so stressful because um, uh, when we go on to an audition, a lot of the time we're like so, so stressed about it. Um, from my experience, the more relaxed you get, the better you can do it. Of course, we have to prepare well at home. So, so at home, what are we going to prepare? We're going to prepare a few songs, okay? So it depends what uh, what kind of audition you're going to. Uh, sometimes it's a general audition. So general audition is just like a company want to get um, some company members for the future production. So if it's a general audition, you usually uh, pick two songs that is contrasting. Uh, for example, like a belting song and then a legit uh, musical theater song. So uh, something like a belting song, you guys know belting is like uh, Rent, for example, uh, a contemporary musical. Or um, legit musical theater is like Phantom of the Opera or The King and I those are uh, legit musical theater. So, um, and one up-tempo, one ballad, something like that. So it's very different and show your range and show your strength, right? And take something you, you really love. And one little thing for me is try not to sing something that's um, very common that everybody sing because they will compare you to the original singer, the famous original singer. Try to find something that's more interesting. And also that's very good for, for the, the judging panel as well, because they don't want to hear on my own 15,000 times or part of your world like 15,000 times, right? When you bring in a song that you love and is interesting and people don't hear too much, that is, that is really good for you and for the judging panel. So they have, is is better for them and they will remember you better right so this is for general audition so what do you do if you are going for a particular show like if um for example if you are auditioning for miss saigon what do you do um you first rule do not sing anything from miss saigon <laughs> so this is a general thing uh, unless unless they require you usually they don't so if you are going to audition for Miss Saigon, you're going to choose something that is the style, okay? So you can choose pop songs, right? So uh, how are you going to choose uh, the two contrasting songs for this? Because you are not going to sing something legit and something pop. So this two contrasting song will be um, uh, up-tempo and a ballad. So, the up tempo, maybe you can you can get something really fun, you know, uh, a pop song, and then you get a ballad that is sappy, sad, that kind of contrasting. And sometimes, um, when I was in New York, when I auditioned in New York, uh, they have like five thousand people for like one role or something. They will require sixteen bars as well. So yeah, yeah, it's hard. <laughs> So the 16 bars, that 16 bars, you have to choose the 16 bars that really show off your range, your, uh, your strength vocally, and also storytelling. So sing something that show everything off in 16 bars. It, it is tough, but you will find it. So what do you do if your next audition is a legit musical theater audition, like the Phantom of the Opera? So what are you going to sing for that? Um, you choose an, uh, two contrasting songs, one up-tempo and one ballad, uh, 
use legit voice, maybe you can choose something from My Fair Lady or um, let's say The Secret Garden. So it's closer, closer to that era that use that kind of legit voice or even you can use a, a song uh, from operetta okay uh, light opera okay so yeah that's at home i have cheat sheet here so yes and you have to re um prepare your resume resume is very important so use a eight by ten picture yeah uh we used to call that headshot now they call it selfies <laughs> sometimes okay that eight by ten headshots and with uh one sheet of resume run one sheet don't get too many sheets even you do five thousand production before pick the good ones and make it clear because when we are in the audition room they don't want to read everything we they only want to see the good stuff so your headshot and your headshot if this is your picture and this is your resume. This is your resume. You do it this way. So this side is your picture. And then the other side is your resume. So they can see this very clearly. Okay. So they will, they will keep that. They are not going to give it that back to you. So uh, make sure you have, you have more at home. Okay. And sheet music. Very important. That's what you have to prepare with your, uh, with your vocal teacher or your pianist. Um, if you are singing, don't, worry about not singing in the original key because voices is like you know um fingerprints the 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 sheet music have to fit your voice you're not going to fit in somebody else clothes right so this piece of clothing have to fit you so if you really want to sing that song, you have to bring in the right key. You cannot say, okay, can I, this is in A, can I sing it in G? No, like most of the pianists will get mad at you and, unless they're genius. So um, make sure your sheet music is in the right key um, and tell, go to the pianist and tell the pianist the tempo. Like, I would like to sing it like this. Bum, ba, da, di, da, 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 da. and thank you and mark your music mark your music where do you sing it from like usually you will be able to sing the whole song but if it's 16 bar you have to mark it from where to where you're going to sing okay and please say thank you and give you give them a big smile okay they are your best friend the pianist okay and sometimes sometimes when you don't get very good pianist at the audition do not stop when they make a mistake or something like, like that. Just pretend that nothing happened because you are the professional. Okay. They're watching you, not the pianist. Okay. So let's see. Okay. Nowadays, the, there's so much technology. Sometimes you might have to go into an audition without a pianist. And so you have to bring your track. Uh, they they might supply all the um, the speaker and stuff, but just in case, it's better for you to um, prepare everything, right? So bring your own speaker if you can, if you have one. Bring your own speaker. Bring the bring the uh, cable, just in case. Don't you don't need to fidget with the the Bluetooth. Bring the cable just in case. Everything is just in case, so it's just. A few things you have to bring and bring the track in the right key so make sure you at home you you guys all know how to change the key and download it and make sure remember to turn on the airplane mode unless like you know just in case if somebody's calling you okay so a few days before your big day your audition day what do you do make sure you don't over sing okay don't beat it to death don't sing 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 too much you need uh to rest your voice otherwise this is like a muscle you cannot overwork it okay and what is the best thing for you to do is to mentally rehearse mental rehearse is the most important thing so you picture yourself you in there you nailed all your uh, amazing notes you nailed the dance audition everybody loves you this applied to your on stage as well if you are preparing for a big performance same thing you 
mental rehearse. You don't need to physically rehearse so much. Of course, you have to keep in shape, not stop singing for the whole entire month, right? Uh, but just don't over sing. And also don't go party too much. Uh, make sure you sleep well. Sleep is a big factor as well. Uh, but don't, don't worry too much, right? Don't, don't overthink of every little details. Oh, I have like one chocolate chip cookies. I'm going to die. I'm not going to sing well. No. So just mentally rehearse. You're going to be perfect in that moment. Okay. And don't go party. I have a student that uh, two days before the competition, they went on roller coaster and they lost their voice. So here you go. You have to be smart about that, right? So on the day of audition, you are going to wake up in the morning or afternoon. It depends on what is your time of your audition. So uh, give yourself a lot of time to prepare because you need the mentally rehearse and physical rehearsal as well. So I like to go into uh, the shower because I like the steam uh, in Canada. It's really dry. So the steam is really good for your voice. And I like to eat apples. Apple is very good for your voice as well. So some people, um, uh, dairy products really affect the voice. Um, so stay away from it. But some people you can, you, you can eat it. No problem. So good for you. Dress your part. That's very important. If you dress your part, you're going to sing better and it's your whole package and it's your character and the judging panel will, will, will go into your story way better. Okay. Dress your part. Don't wear a hoodie or whatever. You're singing, um, legit musical theater. Don't do that. If you go for rent, yes, you can do whatever. But if you go for something legit, you have to dress like the guys, maybe dress in a suit or a nice shirt, a, um, dress shoes and dress pants. You have to dress your part. Very, very important. So you can get into your character much better as well. Um, and be confident. Oh, okay. Before, before that, before that, for the girls, you do your nice makeup. Don't overdo it. Yeah, and if when you dress your part, you have your makeup and everything, your hair done, you will have more confidence, right? And you go in there, be yourself and be confident and have fun. Very important. Yeah, go into there and say, hi, how are you? I'm so happy to be here uh, to sing for you. Something like that, you know, uh, talk a little bit, not blah, blah, blah too much. You know, talk a little bit and that will calm your nerve as well. Okay. Um, I remember that's one thing. It's very funny. Like I actually, I, I'm a little bit proud of myself. <laughs> uh, at the King and I audition, I did my singing, my dancing, my everything, you know, the sing and dance and dance and sing and sing and dance. Like after each cut, right? We have a few cuts, right? So at the end, uh, they asked me, do I do acro tricks? Uh, what, what, kind, what other things I do? I said, I do the handkerchief dance. I can choreograph. I can do the fan dance. They said, what else? Uh, can you do acro and can you do flips? I said, no, I, but I can do Chinese cooking is really, really good. I cook really well. <laughs> and they actually laugh and they love it. I got hired as well, maybe because of my Chinese cooking. Sometimes you just have to make fun. Sometimes because you're so tense and they are so bored because they have been you know, watching like 5,000 people before you. So sometimes you just like, you know, make a little jokes that won't hurt, but don't keep blabbing like what I do right now. <laughs> but this is my job right now, so I have to do that. So have fun, show your personality. And when you show your personality a little bit more, you don't freeze, right? Oh, I almost forgot one thing. What if you got sick the day before or a couple of days before your audition of the lifetime or your show what do you do show must go on right they're not going to change the date for you right what if you don't have a understudy for your show right it happened it happened to me many times <laughs> so um there's one particular audition when i was in new york i did the cats that girl really impressed me so much i think she got the job later on as well so she absolutely had no voice that day. That day she have, she was so sick. She nailed the dance audition. She was really good. But come to singing, she had nothing. She absolutely lost her voice. So I remember, I still remember, she used her eyes and her face so much. And they were playing. She just go, McCannity, McCannity. There's no one like McCannity. Like that, the whole entire song. 
I was like so fascinated. Like that was the final, uh, the last few callbacks, right? Um, so she has to sing the song from the show. I was fascinated and she was absolutely amazing. So here you go. You can always, always pull something, right? Just be very confident about it, right? So in, in, um, in a performance as well, you use your small, small voice. You are going to have a mic. You are use your small voice and diction, diction, diction. And this is going to save your life. Diction and open and uh, keep your water side stage, right? Um, I have a friend. He has no, not even talking voice. Somehow when he go on stage, he did it. And they turn his mic up really, really high. And he did all the diction and storytelling faces. Okay. That's, that will save you. Trust me. Okay. So some of the musical theater uh, production require dance, right? Uh, for example, Cats, um, uh, lots, uh, West Side Story. Those production, you usually have to uh, do a dance call as well. So sometimes they, they have you dance first um, or sing first. It depends what, what they need first. Sometimes are you a dancer that can sing? Are you a singer that can dance? So you might have your your um, singing audition first and then the dance call and then uh, maybe it's th throughout the day you're going to do a lot of different things right or you have to come back for the script so you make sure like when i was in new york uh, auditioning for cats it was crazy it was like what uh six hours call <laughs> i don't know I remember I was so, so t tired and, and hungry at the end. I thought it was done, but it was not done. I had my last bit of snack. I remember I said, okay, I sing everything. I dance everything. Now I can have my chocolate chip cookie. I'm okay. No, after the chocolate chip cookie, they want me to sing memory in my legit voice. So I'm like, out like that. <laughs> that was funny, but I got the job. So it's good. <laughs> Um, yeah, sometimes you need to stay there for a very long time. So you make sure you have water, you have snack, you have food, all these stuff, just in case. Um, sometimes the call is really long. Okay, so let me see. Show your person to have fun and do that. Yeah, so if you have dance call, of course, you have to um, prepare all your, your clothes, dance clothes, dance shoes, and all this stuff. And sometimes the floor is really... Um, really slippery so make sure you have you have a little bit of water on it so i think i covered everything and keep keep going to auditions even you hate it so much because it's so nerve-wracking who like audition i don't i hated it i was so nervous i was so scared but every time you go to an audition you gain experience okay and you know how to deal with those situations even if you say, oh, this is not my, my musical. I don't like this uh, production. I, this, uh, um, I won't get this because I'm not a belter. I'm not a legit singer, blah, blah, blah. You, those are all excuse, excuses. So, you know, no, no excuse, just go. Okay, just go there. And every time you will gain so much more experience. I remember like um, so many times I messed up. I always messed up in, in auditions, like in dance call, I always messed up. I'm a good dancer, I'm a great dancer, but um, my brain is not that great. So <laughs> as always in, in dance call, like I don't pick up steps as fast as the, the people around me. And I was, I froze in early on in my career, but at later on I said don't care anymore like just have fun and if I messed up make it wrong and strong and then I start getting my jobs because I show my personality and I show my strength I show my passion if it's like you know a side kick and I did a back kick it's no big deal like I have to attract the attention of the judging panels and um uh, it's funny when I was in uh, in cats production uh, later on, they told me I, I said, "Oh my gosh, that's like I was in New York. So many people. How do you pick people, right?" And the judging panel told me that like uh, it's very easy. It's actually very easy for them to see. 
99% uh, of the people are not right for the part and they will see exactly who they need. Not until very late, like later on in my career that I start to uh, cast people. I, um, I helped the style of production in Germany to cast people around the world. And when they came to uh, Canada, I, I, I start uh, doing their job. So I start to cast people. When I start casting people, then I see it's so clear. And I see so many, like over half of the, the, the people in the audition room, they are so scared and they're not showing 100%. So this is a, such a shame, right? So make sure you have fun. You show your personality. You pick good songs. Um, anything else? Yes. Get your snack and water before you, you go into the audition room and smile. Magic. This is magic. Okay. Always smile and always th thank you. And even you get cut, you thank them. Okay. Because they will remember you. So one last thing. What if you don't get the job and you think you did it, you nailed it, you do everything you can. Sometimes it's just like that because it's not because you sucked. You did a great job. It's just because you might not look the role or you might not fit the costume they already have. Um, a lot of factors, not, not about you. Okay. So don't take this personally. Make sure, uh, if you have done everything and you enjoy what you have done in the audition room or before, the audition room or the whole process, you already did your best. You have nothing to be ashamed of. And you should say, I'm so good. Thank you. All right. So make sure bear this in mind. Okay. All right. I hope this will help you guys. And I cannot wait to see you again um, in the near future. I'm really hoping this pandemic is going to pass soon. But in the meantime, let's keep positive and stay healthy and strong. Yeah, keep singing. All right. Bye-bye.